from last week's innocence to this week's provocative pinups. Let's do it. Hello everyone, I'm Melissa New, and welcome to this week's episode of Framed. Have you ever wondered how to tastefully photograph a more sensual shoot? From Warsaw, Poland to the United States, this photographer is not your normal college professor. We're turning up the heat with vintage sauciness, come on. definitely the like rebel artist. I think I've been drawing, you know, since before I could write. The first time I picked up a camera, we were on a family road trip to the Grand Canyon and I think I was about seven years old, but I'll have to double check with my dad. He had this Pentax super program, 35 millimeter camera that he bought. I didn't understand at that time, obviously, you know, what aperture was or how shutter speed was gonna affect the image, but he showed me enough to take you know, proper exposure. And I remember I just went crazy. I just fell in love with the way that the world is so magical through a camera. You know, it's like there's something about looking through a camera that makes you stop and realize just how you know, special everything is. I continued with photography throughout middle school and high school, but what I was actually doing with photography at that time was predominantly shooting images that I would then transform into drawings or paintings. And then it actually wasn't until college that I really kind of went into photography, you know, as my main medium of you know, art creation. After I finished my BFA at Pratt, I worked for a couple years in New York, continuing um, my career in uh, fashion management. And then during that time, I also started assisting a variety of uh, commercial fashion photographers. I had also been thinking about getting my master's degree and the possibility of teaching. So I ended up just kind of randomly checking to see if the University of Utah offered a master's in fine arts program in photography. And they did. So I figured, hey, it's two years. So I enrolled in the master's program, um, which ended up being an absolutely amazing experience for me. And since I finished my degree in 2007, I've been teaching full-time as an associate instructor. I do a lot of series that are much more conceptually based, dealing a lot with issues of identity and my own sort of self-exploration, et cetera. There's always this sort of element of, you know, projecting the female as this goddess in a way. You know, really trying to kind of capture that essence and that sort of innate power that every woman has because of our, you know, sexuality and sensuality. I want the models after one of my shoots to, you know, walk away having had a wonderful day. I don't want it to feel like work. I honestly sometimes feel like my, what I do, it's like, you know, getting together with my girlfriends and playing Barbies. <laughs> I was 100% film until about two years ago. I didn't know really how to utilize, you know, digital technology in terms of, you know, shooting, what's camera raw? You know, what's the difference between a JPEG? How do I color space? I didn't know any of that technical sort of stuff. So much of my work is color and color film and those chemicals are very toxic. So, and I was doing a lot with like Polaroid transfers and I'm very sloppy. I mean, I'm, you know, hands in the chemicals and, you know, wiping them on my face and whatnot. So when I got pregnant, I could no longer spend the time in the dark room and working with the chemicals. I initially figured after my son was born, I was like, oh yeah, I'll be back in the dark room, no time. No. And that's another reason I love working so much uh, in post in Photoshop now is because I can actually sometimes, you know, I can do it with him next to me. Even though there are times where I'm like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't do this or maybe I should slow down or X, Y, or Z, I can't. It's, even when I try to take a break, <laughs> it, it doesn't happen, you know, it's, there's always some ideas and I've got to get them out. Okay, we are here with Suzanne.
Susanna in the studio. It's a natural light studio and we've got some strobes. Can you kind of give us a lowdown of what the look, the feel, yeah. what you're gonna do with the model? Today, we actually, we had you guys step out for a little bit. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see <laughs> filming from what we were doing earlier, but I was shooting some natural light, um, implied nude as well as uh, some soft, boudoir lingerie images. We've actually got Jamie done up for some of the pinups that we are gonna be shooting with a more high contrast light source with uh, the strobes and the soft box. But I'm gonna take a couple natural light shots with her um, with my Mamiya. This is a Mamiya RZ67 Pro 2. This is my personal favorite, favorite camera. This is kind of a silly thing, but my absolute favorite thing about this camera is the sound of the shutter. You guys all, we're excited to see you in action. Yeah. We're fun. From the camera and keeps kind of changing it up and giving me different expressions. <laughs> she really is one of the best models that I've ever worked with. I mean she gets in front of the camera I can give her a little bit of a brief of what I want and what's great is I don't have to continually tell her what to do. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful darling. Thank you dear. <laughs> with fashion and beauty photography overexposed by I'd say one to two stops. My settings right now, I'm obviously shooting with a very low ISO, ISO 100. Um, I've got my aperture at a 3.2. My shutter speed is at, I'm gonna actually turn it up a little bit, at a hundredth of a second. My favorite lens all time is the 85 fixed by Canon. I also really love the 50. Beautiful. Oh. Gorgeous, Jamie. Classic. Oh God, yeah, please don't. Make sure to edit that out. Beautiful. Okay, let's get you eating that sushi. Beautiful. Oh, that's stunning, darling. <laughs> what is happening with this light? Give me more sideways? I don't know what is happening. Some problems getting um, the remote for my lights to sync for whatever reason, and we're on a bit on a time schedule, so I'm just gonna MacGyver a setup rather than I'll figure out later why mine wasn't working quite the way I wanted it to. Beautiful. Give me that big, huge smile of yours, but like, <laughs> you know that, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, Olivia, these are too cute. Oh my god! And now, sort of, when he's standing, like, yeah, and you're gonna be like, oh. yeah, just like that. Oh, perfect. So first, I just want to introduce our co-host of the day who has absolutely no personality. His name is Matt Peterson. Thank you. And if you want to check out his work, it's mattpetersonphotography.com. Currently, I pay the bills with uh, family and wedding photography, but um, any chance that I have free time, I'm always going on like Model Mayhem, uh, trying to set some shoots up with models, doing some concepts that I have. I constantly am looking through magazines and tearing out pictures and keeping my own little book of ideas yeah. that I do that I want to do with, with anyone that's willing to work with me um, right now. So, you know, to say I have a style, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I just, developing it. I'm developing that, yeah. I, yeah. You know, I, I don't say that, yeah, my style is more of like Mercedes Benz or photography <laughs> or anything like that. But it's it's just something that I'm exploring and I've loved. I've been doing it for about three years now and mm -hmm. it's more than an addiction. Um, it's therapeutic and um, it's something that's just a part of, you know, who I am. It's an outlet for me to express um, some um, artistic side that I had no idea that I had. So, awesome. yeah. Well, so. I'm excited to have you here because I didn't realize you had this zany, quirky, fun, completely radical personality. So, thank you so much you for bet. being here. You can buy it online at <laughs> goofjuice.com. <laughs> so, let's uh, roll the tape of you getting some interview with them. Okay. Roll it. 
So Olivia, you just uh, finished up a shoot. We just dropped some of your ice cream on the ground here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> have you ever been involved with a shoot where you've been asked to do something you felt uncomfortable with, with and didn't want to do? Yes, I have. Um, just bring your pepper spray. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just Hide it in the bra. Don't get yourself into bad situations and just always be careful and responsible because your life is on the line. All right. You never know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This is uh, Bailey and Daniela, uh, makeup model. So tell me about the, the concept for the shoot. What are we doing? What did you do today? You know, it's pretty typical for a 50s look, yep. especially, you know, the, the little winged eye, but and the nice, you know, crisp eyebrows too. What would you say as we, as we close this out, like for anyone else that would like to, as far as modeling goes, what would be some advice that you could give to any other model out there from your experience? Um, I would just say don't give up because it is a little hard because there's so many like, other beautiful girls and you can get insecure about it, but um, everyone has something unique and different to bring. So just keeping like positive about it, yeah, I would say is the biggest thing. Uh, I'm here with Annika. We're doing, uh, we're getting some hair done. We are going to do a nice, smooth, kind of um, Hollywood glam, some nice, like, big waves. Um, kind of red carpet hair. I think, like, just as a hairstylist, like, my, my goal every day is just to do great work and be nice. That's it. We're here with uh, Jamie Crandall. Hello. Howdy. <laughs> uh, you can call her Miss Utah for the next year. And then after that, you can call her Miss America. So. Miss USA. <laughs> Miss USA. Excuse me. Come on. No. Okay. <laughs> cut. Well, we're doing kind of a pinup shoot. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, did, who, said, who said that? <laughs> yeah. Tell me more. Um, it just. I think it's just good for practice to keep busy. I mean, I don't know if this is actually for a specific thing, but we all, you know, as photographer, makeup artist, hair model, we need to stay um, busy. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> so Matt, why don't you ask Susanna, you're, you're looking into fashion photography. Was it cool for you to be here? Absolutely. Um, yeah. So first of all, working with the models and the confidence that you had in yourself and mm -hmm. in your abilities. Um, even though the lights and some things kind of didn't work as you expected them to work, um, you still had enough technical knowledge to say, I can make this work no matter where I'm at, what I'm yeah. doing. You know. Confidence, though, is a big part of it. You know, even if, yeah, if things go wrong, don't let everyone else know that you're freaking out. <laughs> no, it's true because, you know, if you show that to everyone else, well, everyone's going to kind of falter. Yeah. So, yeah, you always have to, like, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to pretend everything's going perfectly and we're going to make it work. that you know you're personally sort of invested in you know shoot what you love and what you admire um, if that's portraiture you know shoot the people that you love and admire look at light learn how to see light break break you know your subject matter and your images down to the simplest sort of graphic forms and then shoot you know shoot as much as you can I'm Zizana Adet and I'm a photographer Actually, I'm an artist and I use photography and I have just been framed. So here she had a few technical difficulties, but she kept her cool, adjusted with what she had and produced some absolutely beautiful images. Zoo, you talented and beautiful thing. I sure wish I had you as a college professor. And Matt, our fantastic co-host, you brought the manliness into a very feminine shoot. Next week, new artist, new city and new awesomeness. Don't miss it.